So, in light of field day coming up, I wanted to go ahead and make a video showing you something I thought of a while back and designed. This is just all spare parts I had laying around, and what I was able to create was a portable bracket for a MFJ hamstick or any similar antenna. And I am going to be making a video soon, within the next month or so, showing you this setup in action. But right now I want to show you what I'm going to be using. Let's go. Alrighty, so here's the first thing I want to show you. And what this is, is this is just a cleverly designed mount for an MFJ hamstick or any other 3 8 24 mount antenna. So, how this works is this is just an SO239 to 3 8 24 barrel. And it's a chassis mount. And it's what I have is it's screwed through this multi-angle plate here. Now you'd use these in construction, but what I've done is I drilled a hole, put my SO239 through it, screwed this down on top of it, and now I have a mount that I can screw or clamp or do however I like to secure this plate to a mast or a tree or a stake or anything, and it gives me a spot to screw my coax on and a spot to screw my antenna on. So what I've done in the past is I've had a 10 foot mast and the, say the mast is my finger I would take this and put it around the mast and then run a screw through here and through here and hold it on that mast and that works really nicely. Now I haven't made a video on this but something that I've observed is that the hamsticks while being difficult to tune work much much better and have a much lower SWR when you add radials. So what I did is I took to this side of the plate, I drilled another hole and ran a small bolt through. And you can see I have some washers and a nut on this bolt. What I can do is I can loosen up this washer, or I'm sorry, this nut, and that gives me a spot. Now I can stick ground radials in between these two washers and tighten that back up. And when I screw my coax on, now that is grounded and has the radials and this piece has no continuity to this part where the antenna screws on because of this black washer so that's how that works now I have also designed an alternative grounding method this is my alternative sorry about hitting the camera I'm real bad with that how this works is it's just an alligator clamp it's a large alligator clamp and the reason for this is when I take my coax and screw my PL259 on here or on a mirror mount, let's just say that I'm using a mirror mount and I don't have this nifty mounting bracket with the grounding spot and I screw a PL259 on here, what I can do is then I can open this up and stick it over and grab the outer shield of that PL259 to get a good ground and then I can run it to this bolt and what I've done here is same as on the bracket. I just have two washers and a bolt and nut. So I can stick grounding wires or radials in between here. And I can tighten this back, back up and lay those along the ground. And the other convenient thing, as long as I keep this relatively close to the ground, this part here, only you know up two feet or so, I can take this and actually stab this bolt its entire length down into the ground and that'll give me a little mini four inch portable grounding rod so that's pretty convenient too I'm planning to take this setup portable with me uh, this June uh, before field day I'll be doing a field operation and I hope to take that with me and you can actually see that in action but I just wanted to real quick make you this video and show you this little portable mounting bracket that I've designed here and the little alternative grounding method for it so I hope you like this um, like I said, I'm going to be doing an operation, so I'll show you that in action very soon. 73s, God bless. Always comment, subscribe. Love your comments. Uh, you tell me what videos you want to see, and I'll make them for you. 73s, and see you soon.